Warning, tuning your vehicle can be a dangerous activity and there is substantial risk involved. The dangers include but are not limited to permanently damaging your vehicle, injury or death to yourself or other people, damaging personal property due to paying attention to a laptop while driving. This video is intended for educational purposes only. Before altering the calibration of your vehicle, you should verify it is in proper working and mechanical condition. Have a working basis of knowledge of how your vehicle works and how the components interrelate and understand how your tuning software works. Bottom line, you and only you are responsible for making your own decisions as well as accepting the consequences of those decisions. I cannot be held accountable for your actions. All right, guys, welcome back to my computer screen. Today, I'm going to kick off a multi-part series. It's going to go really deep dive and in-depth into the 6L80E transmission. There's a ton of stuff out there on the engine side, but where I feel things are really lacking is the transmission side. And you can get bits and pieces here and there, but it's all just like, oh, try this setting, try this. But nothing that really synergistically, you know, ties the whole room together, man. And so that is what I'm trying to do today. There was a great video about a year ago, a guy put together um, going through a lot of the settings um, and even the Blue Cat transmission tool. But those videos are gone. I don't remember the channel name, but I suspect the entire channel has been deleted. So um, I kind of want to explain everything. I'm going to show you a factory tune, where my tune is. It's taken me like a year and a half of research, uh, tying all kinds of things together to get this tune that I'm finally happy with. I'm a little bit picky. I don't like to just get it close enough and call it a day. It, it needs to be perfect. Otherwise, I'm, I'm never going to be happy. I'll show you my tune. I don't care. Um, there's nothing really secret in there. As far as I'm concerned, um, you can copy it if you want. But my goal really is to give you a strategy of once you know how to how all this stuff ties together to give you a strategy on how you can tactically apply that knowledge and work up your own tune. So before we go, um, I will give you a little tidbit. Now we're going to jump in the transmission again. This is a 6L80E controlled by a T43. Um, so if you are an otherwise stock foreman, for all this series, I'm going to suggest start out and with your stock transmission tune and work it up from there. Um, so if assuming you've done that, what you're going to need to do is you're going to go into torque management and upshift. And all these values are set by stock. This is one. This is your torque reduction. It's saying use 100% of the torque reduction. Um, but this is, you know, for a, not only is it for a safe shift for the transmission, but also a relatively soft and smooth shift. So, you know, uh, your mother-in-law driving to wherever is not going to upset the apple cart with a rough shift. Um, so first thing you can do is just change these, cut them in half to 50%. Point 0.5 is going to say only use half of that. All these other ones, cold multiplier, the adder, and adder modifier, just leave those stock. Right off the hop, this is going to take out half of uh, your torque reduction. The next thing I would suggest that you do is this speed control terminate. Um, factory, it's probably going to be torque ramp, and this is going to go back to that smooth shift. And this is what happens after the shift is done. How are we going to get back on? We've reduced the torque. Now we need to add torque back in. So the torque ramp is going to say, hey, let's just add it slowly and positively. It's just a nice linear ramp to get things back up. But I would say change it to immediate. So timing has reduced during the shift to a flat line. And then immediate is going to say, all right, let's get back on it. And it's going to immediately jump back up to what it was. So there's no delay and no waiting. And just the combination of those two things, again, on an otherwise stock tune, is going to make things a lot more better for you. Now, in the long run, we're going to change uh, this torque management value back to one in a future video. But for now, if, if you're just starting out and you're saying, 
you know, I have a stock build. I don't care about drag racing or anything, but I, I just kind of want a little bit more firmness and a little bit crisper feeling transmission. These things are going to do great for you. But we have a lot to discuss of what goes into torque reduction, and we will get to that. But for now, this should get you going until you have the knowledge and confidence uh, to change all of the other all of the other settings and feel comfortable with that. So anyway, stick with me. Glad you're around. I hope you got something out of this today. Uh, we've got a ton more information and videos planned to go kind of over every single tab in here and explain how all of this stuff works together. So thanks for your time. See you next time.